All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at problem 1.1 from Griffith's Introduction to Quantum Mechanics, third edition. Problem 1.1 says, for the distribution of ages in the example in section 1.3.1, which distribution I have right here in this histogram, uh, part A compute expectation value of J squared, as well as the quantity of expectation value J squared. Part B, determine delta J for each J value, and use the equation 1.11 to compute the standard deviation. So you see I have 1.11 saved right here for us. And then part C, use your results in A and B to check equation 1.12, which I have right here. All right. So looking at the histogram, really we just want to understand what's going on here. So our y-axis, uh, n of j, that's just the number of people um, with each particular age, with each given age. Each of the ages is the j value on the x-axis, so 14 years old, 15 years old, 16 years old, and so on, right? All right, so really easiest way to start to go about this is to just go ahead and write out our data. So n of 14 equals one. We got one person, one, two, three, one person at 14 years old, assuming that the y-axis is increasing by ones, which it is. All right, so n of 14 is one, n of 15 is one, n of 16 is three. We clearly see three boxes there. n of 22 is two, n of 24 is 2, n of 25 is 5. All right, so we've got that written out. So at this point, we, we also want to note that the n um, of every other value of j is 0, because obviously there's 0 people with each of these ages, as I've circled there. Um, and now we'll compute uh, expectation value of j. And then after that, we're going to do expectation value of j squared. So for expectation value of j, we're just going to plug in to a formula here. We're going to do the sum over all the j's of each particular age times the number of people that have that age divided by all of the people in the histogram. So the, just the total number of people. When we actually do that, that's going to give us, okay, J value of 14 is our first one. So J value of 14. So we'll do 14 times one person. And I'm going to actually just do this in black. So we'll do 14 times one plus 15 times 1 plus 16 times 3, of course 3 there, plus 22 times 2 plus 24 times 2 plus 25 times 5 divided by, okay, we had 1, 1, 3, 2, 2, 5. So 1 plus 1 plus 3, 2, 2, 5. All right. Obviously, anyone can do this math, plug it into a calculator, do it in your head, just write it out, whatever. That comes out to be, final answer, expectation value of J equals 21. All right. Now, the interesting thing is when we do the expectation value of J squared, it's not going to be 21 squared. Instead, what we're actually doing... Um, for this, we're going to do a summation over all the ages of each age squared times the number of people that have that age, divided by, again, the same denominator, just the total number of people in the histogram itself. So you notice between this equation and this equation, the only difference is that squared value right there. And so, well, you know, just to kind of save on space, save on room, I am going to copy that, go down here, and I'm just going to write, all right, this equals 
this, but instead I'm going to have a squared value on each of those. Now, this would be pretty rough to just write out all this math. Obviously, you could do it, but that would take a while. Instead, just plug it in, get an answer. You're going to get 3,217 divided by 7. All right, so that's our expectation value of j, expectation value of j squared. But you notice we weren't asked for the expectation value of j alone. We need to square that value. And so when we go back down here for our final answer to part A, our final answer is going to be, okay, expectation value of J is 21. So if we square that, J squared equals 21 squared, because we're physicists and we're not going to write that out. Now for expectation value here, the part, you know, the second part to that problem where we do the expectation value of j squared itself, that is just going to be the quantity we just found, 3217 over 7. And again, notice that those two are not the same thing. Those two are very different quantities. All right. Now back to back up to the beginning, part B. Determine delta j for each j. Use equation 1.11 to compute the standard deviation. Okay, so at this point, it's probably going to be helpful to use a table. Let's grab equation 1.11 here, just so I can copy that, paste it down there. And yeah, let's go ahead and create a table real quick. So in this table, let's include j, delta j, and also we're going to need delta j squared um, for the next part, so that's just going to be helpful to have. All right. So we got our little table here, 14, 15, 16. These are the ages from the histogram, 22, 24, uh, 25. Everything else doesn't matter. Everything else was zero. All right. So for this part, we want to keep in mind when we're calculating delta j, delta j is just j minus expectation value of j. Okay, so we already know what that is. That's 21. So 14 minus 21 is negative 7, negative 6. Uh, we're going to get negative 5, 1, 3, and 4. Now square all of these for this third column, 49, 36, 25, 1, 9, 16. All right. Now, sigma squared equals expectation value of this third column right here. So in, in order to get sigma squared, we're just going to do another expectation value just like we did up above. Except this time, let me write out the formula here. Sigma squared is going to be equal to, this is equation 1.11, delta j squared expectation value, which is equal to the summation over all of the different ages of delta j squared times the number of people in that category. So that nj is the same nj that we used for each of these calculations up here. Okay. Denominator sum over j of all of the different people in the histogram. So that's the same denominator. Well, go ahead and write that out. 49 times one person in that category plus, take the 36 here, so we have 36 times one person in the second category, um, which I believe if we go up to the histogram was 15 years old. Now we're going to take three people times the delta j squared, which is 25, so plus 25 times three people. Um, and then just, I'll fill in the rest real quick, one times uh, two here, plus nine times two, plus, and I can make this a little bit smaller here, I'll move that over, 
plus 16 times 5. That's our numer numerator. Denominator, same thing. It's going to be 14. Um, same value as before. All right. Again, you can do the math. Plug it into a calculator, whatever you want to do. Sigma squared comes out to 130 divided by 7. All right. And, of course, we take the square root. Sigma is approximately... 4.31. So that's part B right there. Um, we've used equation 1.11. We've got the standard deviation. Now part C, use the results in A and B to check equation 1.12. Okay, so 1.12. Let's paste that right there. This is a really simple and important formula in quantum mechanics um, where we take the square root of the expectation value of one uh, one value squared minus expectation value of this other one and square that. So let's go back up to the answers we calculated before. So for this part right here, this is what we need copy that. So keeping these both in mind, we're going to say that sigma equals square root 3217 divided by 7 minus 21 squared. And sure enough, you do that calculation, sigma is approximately 4.31. And so the math comes out same as before.